Welcome to Top 20 Software Developer Interview Questions and Answers. This article is specifically designed to help you prepare for an interview and provide a confidence boost so that you can get that awesome job. All questions and answers are researched and contributed by a professional software developer. Keep in mind, it is incredibly hard to know exactly which questions will be asked during an interview. However, we can prepare by studying different possibilities. This video is based off an article from CosmicNova.com with full permissions granted to YouTube.com forward slash Kobuman channel only. Everything in this video is copyrighted by Kobuman channel and Cosmic Novo LLC. Question number one. What is 29 in binary and hexadecimal? In binary, it's 11101. In hexadecimal, it's 1D. Question number two. What is a singleton class? A class that can only be instantained once. Question number three. Explain inheritance in object-oriented programming. A class can inherit the implementation of its parent class, while also extending and or changing parts of it. This allows for reuse of code that classes have a lot in common. Question number four. With threads A and B and resources X and Y, describe a deadlock situation. Thread A reserves resource X, then thread B reserves resource Y. Thread A, without releasing X, then requests resource Y, but have to wait for thread B to release it. Meanwhile, thread B, without releasing Y, requests resource X, but have to wait thread A to release it. Both threads are now waiting for each other to release their resources but none will until the other does. Question number five. What is a non-functional requirement? A non-functional requirement specifies general behavior requirements of the system. It describes that you want your system to be rather than what it should do. Some non-functional requirements include accessibility, maintainability, and security. Question number six. What is a functional requirement? A functional requirement describes the specific functionality you want of your system. Question number seven. What are steps of the waterfall method? Requirements, design, implementation, verification, and maintenance. Question number eight. In Scrum, what is the purpose of the daily stand-up meeting? The purpose of stand-up is for the team to get up to speed on what has been done and what will be done that day and to bring attention to real or potential obstacles in development. The stand-up meeting works as follows. Each member of the development team answers three questions in turn. One, what did I do yesterday? Two, what will I do today? Three, have I discovered anything that might impede our progress towards the sprint goal? Question number nine. What are the benefits and disadvantages of paper prototyping? Benefits. The main benefits of paper prototyping are that it is quick and cheap and easily allows uh, an entire team to take part in the design process. Disadvantages. The major disadvantages is that it is hard to emulate the true feel of the system and certain functionality such as scrolling, data entry, and dynamic elements. Often paper prototypes will only be able to show the general outline or show off 
a few specific functionalities of the system. Question number 10. What is the purpose of a sequence diagram event diagram? A sequence diagram shows the interactions, sent messages, and return values between objects and in what order they are sent. This gives an idea of the runtime flow of the application. Okay, my friends, let's take a short break. While we've taken a break, I just wanted to mention real quick that CosmicNova.com has a written version of this topic. Link is in the description box below. We also have many other topics, not only at CosmicNova.com, but on YouTube.com forward slash Kobo main channel, um, such as desktop support, network administration, system administration, web developer, help desk, customer service, and many more other different topics, whether it's IT or something similar to that. Question number 11. What is modularization? Modularization is a technique where the software is divided into several modules that work independently of each other. The main benefit of this is better maintainability. Question number 12. Can you describe the model view controller architecture? The MVC architecture is used most commonly for GUI applications and means to separate the data from the user interface. The model layer holds the data, the view layout outputs the data to the user, and the controller is responsible for making changes to the model based on user input. Question number 13. What is direct acyclic graph? A DAG is a directed graph without any cycles. Question number 14. What is the difference between black box and white box testing? While black box testing only tests a function for correct output given in an input, white box testing also tests if the implementation is correct. Question number 15. What is the difference between a queue and a stack? A queue is based on the FIFO first in first out principle, which means the first item to enter the queue is the first to be removed, like the queue at the cash register. A stack, on the other hand, is based on the LIFO last in first out principle, which means the last item to enter the stack is also the first to be removed like a stack of plates. Question number 16. What is a recursive function? A recursive function is a function that calls itself. At each function call, one or more parameters are changed the recursion continues until a base case is reached and the recursion is resolved. Question number 17. What is the average and worst case runtime of the quicksort algorithm? For this answer, I will display the results below. Question number 18. How does the A asterisks algorithm work? A asterisk is a pathfinding algorithm that works on weighted graphs with heuristic function that estimates the cost of traveling from node N to the goal node. The nodes to be considered at each step is stored in a collection, usually a priority queue. It starts by adding every node to the that is adjacent to the start node in the queue with their estimated total cost, 
based on the formula f in parentheses n equals g in parentheses n plus h in parentheses n, where g in parentheses n is the actual cost from the start node to the node n, while h in parentheses n is the heuristic function. At each iteration, the node with the smallest estimates cost f in parentheses n is expanded. A path is found when the goal node is the one chosen for expansion. Alternatively, no path is found if the queue becomes empty. Question number 19. In SQL, with unique keys, what does inner and outer join do? Both operations join two tables. Inner join works as the intersection between the tables, so only keys that exist in both tables will be kept in the joined table. Outer join works as the union between the tables, so all rows are included in the joined table. Question number 20. What is an SQL injection, and how are they prevented? SQL injection is when SQL statements are entered into data fields that are to be stored in an SQL database. The most usual mitigation techniques include parameterizing statements, escaping characters with special meaning in SQL, pattern checking, and limiting database permissions. Before going to an interview, take time to learn as much as possible about the company that you're applying with. This will further improve your chances because you can tailor your answers in according to, to what this company is looking for in an employer. Lastly, don't forget to watch my video on top 10 most common interview questions and answers because they will cover the human resource part of interviewing process. You will find the link in the description box below. Best of luck to you, my friends.